Alright, so we was at <clears throat> this part right here. Then there is the United States, the capital U and S, which is the 66, 68 square miles of land west of the Palm, the Potomac River. Now we read about the Potomac River when we was when I was doing the Pot um, Power Hotton um, video. Um, so I say on which is built the Federal Corporation, the Washington Washington D.C. and the District of Columbia. It is also include the U.S. Um, protectorate rates, protectorate of I guess that's Guatemala and Puerto Rico. All right. So now look, some of the stuff right here is going to probably be going a little bit like into the conspiracy theories, but I'm just going to read through and you guys follow me, alright? So, the United States of America is not a country, it's a corporation owned by the same brotherhood of reptilians. Now, I don't I don't know about reptilians, you know, some of you guys are not going to go into that, but let's say of uh, Europeans, bloodline, who own the Virginia Company. Because the United States of America is the Virginia Company. In 1604, a group of leaders, politicians, businessmen, merchants, manufacturers, um, bakers, bankers met in Greenwich. It say then the English country, the, the English county of Kent, and formed a corporation called the Virginia Company in anticipation of imminent influx of white Europeans, mostly British at first, into North America. All right. I'm going to read a little bit more and I'm going to go into the other part. So, his main stockholders was a reptilian King James. Uh, you know, they say, you know, they're dealing with the reptilians again, but let's keep it moving though. We just know King James has something to do with the Virginia Company. So, you can take the reptilian out. Please don't try to, you know, get at me because I'm saying I'm using articles I read there's a lot of stuff in this article that basically applies to what took place here okay so they say um its main stockholder was the reptilian King James the first and the original character charter for the company was I mean completed by April 10th 1606 and later update to the charter established the following the Virginia company is compressed of two branches the London Company and the Plymouth or the New England Company the Pl the Pilgrim or the American historical myth were in fact the members of the second Virginia Company branch see that's what I'm trying to tell you all of these when we look at the 13 colonies all these are branch of the fucking uh, of the Virginia Company of which is Virginia all right they say the Pilgrim Society is still a major elite group with the Lu Illuminati all right so to if y'all ain't getting a little bit nervous at this point in time, I suggest you do. All right. Uh, the Virginia Company owns most of the land of what we now call the United States. And any land up to 90 miles offshore, this includes the Bermuda, they say, and most of what we call the Caribbean Islands. It's for my man, brother, Dark Man X, man. You see, you see who owned the Caribbean Islands, Dark Man X, the Virginia Company. So the Virginia Company, the British Crown, and the Bloodline families has the right to 50%, like I read earlier. Yes, 50% of our gold, silver mine on its own land. Say plus percentages of, of, of minerals and raw materials. And 5% of all profits from other ventures. So that 5% is your damn taxes that you motherfuckers pay. These rights and charters de de detail were to pass on onto the heirs of the owners of the Virginia Company and therefore to complete and apply forever. So you are the perpetual servitude like the doom divider said. The controlling members of the Virginia Company were are, are, no, who were to enjoy these rights became known as the treasurers. Okay, the treasurers and the company of the ad adventurers and the planters of the city of London. Okay. They say after the first 21 years of the formation of the Virginia Company, all duties imposed and, ex and excises paid and paid on trading activities. The colonies had to pay directly to the British Crown through the Crown of Treasury. So if you guys at this point in time, you motherfuckers don't know what's going on. Look, man, y'all wanted to know who came here and took the land. Now you know who took the land. They say the land of Virginia Company was granted to the colonies under the deed of trust on lease. 
and therefore they could not claim ownership of the land. The monarch through the colon through the council and colonies insisted the members of the colonies imposed the Christian religion on all the people, including the Aboriginal Americans. Okay, now see look. Now look, you see this right here. Say the monarch though hit his council for the colonies instead, I mean insisted that members of the colonies impose the Christian religion on all people. So now my thing is this. Who was all people in America? The Aborigines. Okay, now you're gonna keep on telling you, yeah, the slaves, they're gonna keep on telling you the slaves or whatever, but we already know. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna show you the pictures of what what what, what the um Aborigines of Virginia look like. Alright? So the criminal courts on the land of the Virginia company were to be operated under Admiralty law, more science, the law of the seas, and civil courts under common law, the law of the land. Now, get this, all of the above still applies today. Okay, that's David Icke. Okay, if some of you guys believe in David Icke, or whatever though, but look man, look, this is a long article, it's a very deep article. I'm about to just read something else that I wanted to read so we could connect this. And I'm gonna give you some other information on like, you know, as far as like, you know, y'all y'all don't like y'all don't really deal with the more science side of it though, but I'm gonna explain some things to you, all right? So now boom. So if you ever heard Brother Hamak, he tell you that you've been you got forced United States citizens, all right? So you're an American, but you've been told that you're from Africa. And because you've been told that you're from Africa, you no longer know that you are the American. So check this out. So you are basically a United States state citizen. You've been deported and then brought back under the United States, all right? So possession of a social security number is known as the Crown Lex, as a conclusive evidence of our having accepted to federal commerce benefits. This is another example of the equity relations with the crown presenting one social security to an employee seals in our average status as taxpayers and give rise to liability and re reciprocal quid qua pro quo payments of the taxes of to the crown through the social security number we were we are accepting future retirements endowment benefits social security is a strange animal if you die your spouse gets nothing but rather what would have gone to you is divided forfeited among the premium payers who have not died yet okay so we know okay recap recap 1607 um first ship came here they met the Aborigines, all right? Who's the Aborigines? Let me see something. Uh, you know what? For some reason, I can't show my pictures. I just showed them in the lab. I just showed you some of the pictures or whatever. But you know what? I'm going to do another I'm gonna do another part to this, and I'm going to show you the pictures. Um, let me read this, too. I wanted to read this. So, you, so this is all, all this stuff. All right, so 1607 ship came here they made they made some kind of deal or some type of proposition with the aborigines here to where they was only supposed to be in jamestown they went as time went on they wanted to venture out jamestown and control more of the land the aborigines told them no and that's when the wars and that's when the problem started okay and like i said if it's telling you that the Virginia Company is now the United States and the Virginia Company is owned by the British Crown and and and, and, and um and the Vatican, then you already know what this is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think a lot of people knew that this shit is this deep or whatever when you think about it. You think that you just could claim a status and claim who you are. They knew who you was when they got here and they still didn't honor you. So, you know what I'm saying? They know exactly who you were when you got here and they still didn't honor you. You understand? So you people wanted to know what happened or, or get an idea what happened. Like I said, if you got if they got here in Jamestown, Virginia, Power Hotton was that Negro who I showed you. His daughter was a Negro as well. And there was other Negroes who looked just like Power Hotton, okay? So them Negroes are our ancestors, okay? As well as the other so called Aborigines that is throughout the Americas that were, I mean, throughout North America, Central and South, but in North America, you know that they had, we have brothers in Louisiana, Mississippi, we had them all over. But the start of it was Virginia. That's what the most important part is. Now, it, now at first it was supposed to be one colony, 
which was supposed to be the Virginia Company, now it expanded, it expanded to 13, which they took over the whole northern, or you want to say the whole northeast seaport, like I showed you, this whole side right here. They took over this, starting with Virginia. They started pushing the Indian or Aborigines back, okay? And then, or, or they was pushing them down to Florida. And now, so, these same colonists who land don't fucking belong here is responsible for the tele, the trail of tears, is responsible for Seneca Village, responsible for numerous displacements and cultural disconnect, dis deconstruction of the Aborigines here. They the one who got you calling yourself a damn African, knowing that they never got you from Africa, knowing damn well when they went to Europe what the people they seen in Europe. All right, look, I already showed you the images. You already know what the Virginia Indians look like. You already know what the Virginia Aborigines look like. Okay, I already showed you guys that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, y'all, I mean, this shit is deep. You know what I'm saying? It was definitely a, a learning experience. Because I had to, like I said, man, when I started in Virginia, I never thought about to start in Virginia. I was bouncing all over, you know what I'm saying, all over the whole Americas. I found more important to let's deal with North America since I'm from North America. You know what I'm saying? I know about every I know about um Central, South America, the Caribbean Island, I know about all of that. Now let's deal with North America because North America seemed like this was the most this was the hardest to understand because we didn't never know. But just know we got we got our we got our point. The point was in 1607 when they came to Jamestown, they didn't they wasn't they wasn't satisfied with just having Jamestown and so forth. They they went on and started taking the land and they still doing it to this day. So I mean, I don't know like at this point for me reading what I'm reading and, and knowing who owned this United States, man. I mean, we are old reparations, man, big time. You understand what I'm saying? We're old reparations, though. But understand this. The Virginia Company is the people who allow all these people to come over here and and sit on your land. And they look at you like you the immigrant. They look at you like you the African. But yet these same people will tell you to go back home when they know their history of coming to this country, warring with the people of the land to take the land. So, look, man, it's like I said, man, y'all do further research on it or whatever. Look up the Virginias. If it's something I missed, definitely comment, kind of leave it in the comment. I do another video. I got a couple of videos that brothers asked me to do that I'm definitely going to get 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 at or whatever. Um, but definitely, man, like I said, it's starting in Virginia. So this is what people need to do their research on. The brother Dane Calloway is doing excellent research going back and forth to Virginia. Um, some of the other brothers, uh, um, Aborig Ab Legend, uh, uh, Aboriginal, you know what I'm saying? He he did a video that was a good video on the Power Hotson, but we got to dig much deeper, bro. But, I mean, at this point in time, I think I cleared it up, okay? So, look, man, comment, like, subscribe, bro. Like I said, man, this is the consciousness one, man. And I'm out of here. Peace.